Well, she is a multi Grammy award winning artist and the new coach bringing new fun and energy to the voice. Kelly Clarkson has fit right into the role and fans are loving her on the show, but she admits it's not as easy as it seems. Take a look at a clip. I am weary from getting just not picked when this girl turns her chair. <laughs> I didn't read like the life coach book before I came out. I don't know. I can obviously tell you're a fan of her. There you go. Yep. I'll be over here. <laughs> I have never in my life heard someone say things like that before. Cause I'm broken. Well, you look what you did, man. You broke Kelly. I Clarkson. broke. You broke me. Okay, no, let me tell you not. something about Kelly Clarkson. Come on, tell him. Tell him about Kelly Clarkson, Adam. Kelly Clarkson, <laughs> number one, is a saint. That's true. She sings like an angel or like a lion, whatever she feels. <laughs> and by the way, she is absolutely incredible. Don't you love Kelly Clarkson? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Joining us now live from Nashville is Kelly Clarkson, who uh, is apparently like unicorns and rainbows, just, you know, just magical, lights up a room. Who, who, apparently is, who apparently is so pathetic, they have to like build me up. <laughs> No, you can just tell that you are a, a positive person and just a joy to have in the room. The place lights up. These blind auditions haven't been the easiest for you, uh, as you know we saw there in no. the clip. Uh, what's it like being in a different position than you know what you once were? You're kind of on the flip of it. Uh, you know, I did think um, I, the coaching part of it and navigating it with my my team that I have is fun. That's actually exactly kind of what I envisioned, but. Getting people on my team, um, that that was a lot more difficult than I thought. You know, all the other three have, or the other three have um, won the show before. Um, and, and, and Alicia Keys, y'all, she has this thing that I just have no, I cannot compete with. It's like this like weird journey, gravitational pull thing she does. And it is defeating to, to lose that much, <laughs> getting people on your team. But, um, but it's fun to be a part of. It's a, it's definitely it's a humbling experience. <laughs> well, you know, when you have to say to somebody who isn't obviously going to make it all the way to the, you know, the end that they're, you know, hey, sorry, but no. I mean, it, that's got to be rough, I would think. I, I could I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could tell somebody, you know, you don't have what it takes. Oh gosh, that's the that's the devastating part is because um just just the fact even when you have your team like obviously it's a competition so people have to go home at certain points and that is the, I'm definitely the crier of the group which I don't think is shocking to anyone um, but I, I, I definitely I think I take more of a hit on it just because I've been I've lived with those people you know in a camp on a TV show when all of a sudden your friends are going home and they feel like defeated as if it's over and and it's it's just it's really hard to do that part I hate I'm really looking forward to America voting because I hate doing it. Uh, let's talk about your album, Meaning of Life. There's a lot of meaning in those words. Um, can you give us some insight? Yeah, I mean, honestly, the, the album, you know, it ended up, it was the first song, The Meaning of Life on, that, on, on my album was the first song that kind of set the bar for this album. And it was an album I've wanted to create since I was in junior high. It's all these singers that really inspired me to be a singer. Um, be it, you know, Whitney, Annie Lennox, you know, Mariah, you know, TLC, like all these people that I, I love, Tony Braxton growing up. And, and, it, and it's really kind of an ode to that 10 year old girl that really loved, you know, singing and, and, and what made me want to be a singer, all the music that kind of um, those artists in that particular genre. So, and, it, and it's also my first album to make free of um, contract from idols. My, it was my first album to like sign with my own label that I picked and, and everything was, you know, for me so it was it was my first time in almost 16 years so <laughs> I earned it <laughs> yeah it's a liberating feeling congratulations yeah thank you all right Kelly uh, thanks for taking the time to talk to us today you can see Kelly on the voice tonight tomorrow night at 8 p.m. right here on local 4